So, hello teachers. It's a different vlog today because I just want to share an experience I have encountered earlier wherein I cannot log in to my native cam platform. So, it was really really sad because usually I go on standby like I open my teacher's platform like 10 minutes 10 to 5 minutes before my reserve class so what happened was that I can't log in because no matter how I log in with my registered email and password it's still not going through and I still have a reserve class what I did was that I automatically recorded it via OCAM I uploaded it immediately to Google Drive and then I made the file shareable and then I copied the link and then I pasted it in the message portion for the inquiry so yes that is what happened and I messaged them so if you guys can experience the same this is actually applicable to anyone or to everyone who wants their ratings to be disputed by the inquiry team so you just need to put the student's name student's ID number the lesson ID and then the textbook so para and then the admin would not ask you any further questions so that they would have enough information already about what lesson you want to be disputed by them and so that they can do their own investigations i'm really really sad right now because i still have two classes to go and i still can't log into my native camp platform i don't know what's happening like this is my first time to experience this one i've even experienced that i was able to log into the platform but there was no dashboard and i messaged the inquiry team and at that time there was still no covid19 so they're very responsive and then they said that my internet connection was low but now my internet connection is fast so i don't know what's happening there was a glitch maybe so I'm really hoping that the inquiry team would dispute it. I hope that my evidence is enough. If you guys don't know, I also have a Facebook support group. It's here. I put it somewhere here. In that Facebook group, I try to help native camp teachers with their concerns or sometimes they message me personally. The purpose of that group is, of course, to support everybody. and. I have been getting a lot of messages from teachers who want me to help them with their Kalan method training and so on. So I told myself I cannot reply to them one by one. So I decided to make that support group. And as we speak, Kiraya is still fixing the error. I don't know if it's because of my laptop, is it because of the of my internet connection? Is it because there's there was a system glitch? I don't know. Only the admin can reply. During the onset, like I cannot log in. Like I've tried to log in a lot of times and then Uriah told me that Shappy, go to the room, take a little rest. Because I have this tendency, like when I start to feel irritable, it would be continuous the whole day. So she wants to avoid that. She wants me to avoid experiencing that. She told me, Shappy, go to the room, take a little rest. I would be the one to do everything for you. So, yeah, she's still waiting and keeps on trying to log into my account. And she just told me that she's going to call me if everything's okay already. So, as we speak, we are now in the waiting game. So, thank you so much, by the way, you guys, for the support that I have been receiving. We are now 176 subscribers strong. Yes! Thank you. And also for you guys who wants to join my Facebook group, Uriah and I created. I will put it somewhere here. Yes. So, in that group, you would really learn a lot. I would be teaching you how to troubleshoot in regards to your internet connection i would also be putting a lot of tips or we are going to be sharing a lot of tips about the cullen method of teaching and a lot of teachers have been messaging me that 
Shepi, I'm so scared of receiving or accepting the invitation for the Kalan method. So, for me guys, even for me, at first, I had doubt because what happened was that I'm gonna tell you a background story on how Uriah and I got the Kalan method badge. So, at first, Uriah was offered to teach the Kalan method first. So, I told her that, why are you offered? Why not me? <laughs> because I was the first one who who applied at Native Camp and the next was Uriah. I think two weeks or a month after I applied, Uriah was next. Yes. So, so I was questioning her like, why were you offered first and not me? So, what happened is that Uriah... <laughs> <laughs> Uriah told the trainers that um, Shappy also wants to to teach with the Kalan method because I was really really curious though like what is this Kalan method like what is it really a reserve class I was very very curious about it and then I am the type of person that when I get curious I will not stop until my curiosity is answered I'm that type of person so uh, what happened was that she told the trainers that Chappie also won, so the next week, I was offered to teach with the Kalan method. So, I had a training, so the training in the office is one week. Not one week, like I think it was three days. Classroom training, only the rules, and also our trainer is very strict when it comes to the correct enunciation of words, the correct pronunciation, the correct um, prompting. So. Yeah, I really had a hard time. It was very difficult because when us Filipinos ask a question, it would be the rising intonation. But for Kellen method, it should be flat. And also the prompting. I really had a hard time because my trainer would usually tell me, Shappy, you're already repeat. It's already repeat after me once. And Kellen is not like that. It should be tennis rally something. So yes, that's what happened. So I really had a hard time and we had a very good trainer though like she would really correct you a lot and for me it was an extensive training she was able to train us in an ample time but very well it was very good training because for me when i had the cullen method badge i really didn't have a hard time not not that I didn't have a hard time of course i did because i was still adjusting with the method but it was very very like i know what to do like if the student would finish stage one then what am i gonna do next if the student cannot answer what am i gonna do so there are a lot of you know instances in talent that your critical thinking skills would really be tested and also for me Kellen method is very easy the method itself is very easy but the challenge here is that what are you gonna do in sit in certain situations like for example if the student is fast what are you gonna do if the student is slow or is a beginner what are you gonna do if you're done with the full stage revision what are you gonna do are you gonna continue the reading or not so that's it and also also for instances like what are you gonna do if the student already finished the Kalan method? So there are a lot of instances in Kalan method. And yeah, so I'm gonna continue. <laughs> so yeah, so after that one, uh, it was already demo. So I think our demo lasted for a week or more than? A week or more than? I'm not sure. I already forgot because it was two years ago or a year two or three years ago so yes that's what happened and then Uriah was always absent because she really wants us to receive the badge together so yeah she actually waited for me and then we had a lot of demo and then we had a difficulty when it comes to miming like the hand gestures when I had the final demo um out of their Urias group or their training group, she was the first one who passed. So I was like, oh, I had the best, you know, I had the best trainer, <laughs> trainer in the world because Uriah and I, we are really interested in the Cullen method because it's fast. It is so me, it is so Uriah, we went fast. 
after that one, our badge was placed on our profile. It was midnight at 11 p.m. or 10 p.m. So we were just surprised that after our regular lessons or after our sudden lessons, I was very shocked that why do I have a lot of reservations? Like it's really unusual because usually before when I still don't have the Khan Method badge, I used to have a lot, not a lot, like I used to have like five reservations a day or six reservations a day and it's all kids course. So I was really surprised like why do I have why do I have reserved classes where in even if here I is here. What time? No no. Twenty. Twenty na? Nine twenty? No. Okay. So yes, I'm gonna continue. So yes, at that time huh? Manong na off. <laughs> okay na siya. Okay na. Okay na. Okay na. Okay na. So wait sa. Ay ka na diri ha. <laughs> so Uriah is the one editing our video now. So yes, that's what happened and then both our badges were already on our profile at midnight and then what happened was that we were so scared to have the Gallon method at night time. So we decided to turn off all our slots until the end of our shift so that we are going to start teaching with the Kalan method the next day. So what <laughs> So what happened was that I'm gonna work the next day but it was Uriah's day off so I was like it's so unfair. So after that one when I experienced that I had a lot of low ratings but in my own honest opinion it's okay because I'm still adjusting with the method and I just thought of it like it's the real training. But later on, like before, the half price was for a month. So I had a month to practice. So after that one, yeah, for me, before, ratings was very difficult to improve because the ratings before would be from the first day, you started your teaching up until the present. So it's not the latest 100 classes, like what you're experiencing right now or what we have right now. So, yes, that's it. And also, in my own honest opinion, though, I love teaching with the Kalan method. I got used to it. So, later on, I was offered to teach with the kids Kalan. I grabbed it immediately because I love teaching kids. And later on, I grabbed, like, when I was offered to teach with the business Kalan, I also grabbed it. So, most of my classes nowadays are Kalan, Kalan method, regular Kalan, kids Kalan, and business Kalan. But for me, it's I prefer Kalan. <laughs> I really prefer Kalan because the students cannot ask questions, they cannot make requests, and so on. So that's how I started teaching with the Kalan method. So I'm really happy that the platform is now okay. I can now log in. So let me see. <gasps> it's okay already. Thank you. Babe. So yes, it's okay already. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna lower the brightness. Yes. I can focus, focus. It's already okay, so I have to teach kids Kalan and then kids Kalan and then Kalan method, regular Kalan method late um after so it's okay. So I'm happy, it's already okay thanks to thanks to Uriah who is very patient enough to troubleshoot it for me. So I think that was it for today just a little a short vlog for you guys so i will see you guys later later alligator <laughs> bye ah. <laughs> bye hello again so again yes okay so just a quick update my native cam platform can already be accessed so i'm so happy and i was able to do or I was able to attend my two reserve classes and I was able to do one sudden classes in my regular student so I'm so happy and also in Japan there would be a long holiday next week it's called Ubon holiday 2020 let me try to search 
this time let's try to see when Ubon holiday would start so okay so it would start on August 13 to August 16 on the 13th it's Thursday Thursday from Thursday to um, Sunday so it's like Holy Week here not Holy Week it's like November 1st and November 2nd for us Filipinos it is an event wherein Japanese nationalities would go to the graves of their loved ones and then they're going to welcome them in their homes again they would be preparing a lot of things and then some students would go back to their hometowns and celebrate it with their relatives and so on so there are a lot of events that would happen expect a lot of students for the next week because on monday um august 10th it is a holiday in japan it's called mountain state they celebrate it and also on august 13th to august 16th it will be Ubon holiday in Japan. So expect a lot of students for the next week. So yes, so that is it in addition to this vlog. And I'm still waiting for the admin's reply to my inquiry. I'm just so glad though that everything's okay now. I can conduct lessons. So right now Yurai is editing my vlog. Yes, as you can see. I am so happy because Yurai is now learning how to edit vlogs or how to edit videos before I was the only one doing it and now she took the time to learn so I'm happy I would have someone to to share my opinions and to share my plans too so yeah so that is it for this video if you guys like this video please give this video a big thumbs up and if you still haven't subscribed to my channel do me a little favor and do so and please turn on the post notifications so that you get notified whenever i post a new video again it's chappy and i'll see you guys soon bye